This is Two Minute Toots, where we show you a digital fashion tip in two minutes or less. So I talked a little bit about this function in this video, but I wanted to make sure that designers actually got it because it was packaged in a video about textile design. So Adobe just added a great feature to help you reflect your sketches, and I wanted to make sure you didn't miss it. So this comes straight from Illustrator for the iPad, and it's meant to be used with patterns, but it works great for reflecting a flat sketch. Instead of using the reflect tool, you'll use the newly added mirror repeat function. And here's how it works. Do everything the same as you would if you were going to use the reflect tool, but instead of switching to reflect, after you make your selection, choose object, repeat, mirror. With this function, it automatically uses the center of your sketch to choose the point of reflection. But the coolest part of this is that once you're in mirror mode, any change you make to the original sketch will automatically be made to the opposite side. As much as I love the method I use now, this is definitely more efficient as far as reflecting and making changes. And you can see the method I use now in this video. Interestingly enough, this is not the only way for you to do true mirroring in Illustrator. I covered that in this video about six years ago, and I tested out the method earlier this week, and it still works. But this new method is definitely easier and quicker. So my suggestion to you, make sure that your software is updated and use the new mirror function. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you are new to Illustrator for Fashion, make sure you check out the links in the description for more information about my classes and to get some great freebies. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.